So let's now go ahead and also solve part C, which is saying, which is under the quadratic nature of the roots. So the question is saying, the equation ax squared plus bx plus 1 is equal to 0, has roots alpha and beta. If alpha plus beta is negative 2, and alpha times beta is 1, find part 1, the values of a and b, part 2, an equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. So there we go. We start with the first one. They want us to find the value of a and b. And we do know, guys, that when we're talking about these things, alpha and beta, we know that alpha plus beta, okay, we know that alpha plus beta is equal to negative b over a, and alpha times beta is equal to c over a. So it's just a matter of plugging in the values. Let's start with the first one. Alpha plus beta is negative b. What is negative b? Okay. So we have negative b over a. Now alpha plus beta, we've been told that alpha plus beta is negative 2. So put negative 2 here, being equal to negative b over a. So this is a, we've been told a, that is b and that is c. We know that already. So alpha times beta Alpha times beta is C. Alpha times beta is 1. Then C, C is 1. We can see clearly see there is 1. I divide this by A. So if I cross multiply, A will be equal to 1. So that's the value of A. A is 1. Now I'll come back here. This is negative B. So I put 1. I cross multiply, I'll have negative B being equal to negative 2. If I... Okay. So if I divide both sides by negative, b will be equal to 2. So the values of a is 1. b, the value of b is um, uh, b is equal to 2, like that. So those are the values of a. Then a and b. Now, another thing here is uh, when we're talking about equation, equation of the root. Equation of the root is given by x squared minus alpha plus beta times x plus alpha times beta is equal to zero. So it's a matter of us now finding alpha times beta and alpha plus beta. and alpha times beta. But how can we find this? Okay. Yeah, how can we find this? Oh, let me do this first. To find this, we have been given, also we have been given like the, an equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. So we have to add these. So first, for me to find alpha plus beta, we're adding. So it's 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. So you find the common denominator is alpha times beta. So alpha times beta, now alpha, alpha and alpha will cancel out, I'll have beta. Beta into alpha times beta, beta and beta will cancel out alpha. I can arrange this because plus plus is commutative. So now it is alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta, I divide it by alpha times beta. And we definitely know that alpha plus beta, we have been given it already, alpha plus beta is negative 2. Alpha times beta is 1, so it's negative 2. So my alpha plus beta is basically negative 2. Then I'll go now to alpha times beta, where I'm going to divide them. Okay. So, alpha, okay, so I have what I've been given is 1 over alpha. I need to do times 1 over beta. So if I do times, I'll end up having 1 over alpha times beta. So alpha times beta is 1. So therefore, alpha times beta is equal to 1. 
So from the equation here, you just come and plug in the values. Okay, so x squared minus alpha times beta or alpha plus beta is negative 2 times x plus alpha plus beta is 1 is equal to 0. x squared plus negative and negative is positive and I end up having this. So is equal to 0. So this is the equation they wanted us to find. You know, they are not that complicated, guys. It's just a matter of us understanding what we've been given. So when you've been given these things, just add this and that. Later on, come and do times. Then you come back and plug in the values in this equation. As simple as that. Okay.